It's a story of deception, which all started on the premise of friendship. Two girls innocently meeting in Hooters, deciding that they would like to team up and head outside of Detroit to make some extra cash. Unfortunately, it soon turns into the road trip from hell. This is the story of Zola. And back in 2015, these 148 tweets forever rescoped how someone can jump on social media, tell their story, and have it go viral within a matter of less than 72 hours, and have people reaching out to them, offering them things such as movie deals, even their own reality TV show. Well, fast forward here to 2025 years later, that's exactly what it has become, and it just debuted at the Sundance Film Festival here within the past few days. But what is it that was so captivating about these 148 tweets? And who is Zola if you've never heard about the story before? Well, it all started with, okay, listen up the story long, so I met this white B-I-T-C-H at Hooters. From there, it goes into a story of two girls that wanted to head outside of Detroit to do some exotic dancing to make some extra cash. So they head down to Tampa, Florida. However, they're not alone. They're with this newfound friend's boyfriend and the sketchy roommate who just so turns out to be a pimp. So soon she finds herself with an account that she did not consent to on Backpage. And if you don't remember what Backpage is, it was kind of along the lines of Craigslist back in 2015, where you could sell a product or a service. However, it gained its popularity on people offering adult services as well as people that were seeking women. Well, back in 2018, April 2018, the website was actually closed down by the United States Department of Justice as it was allegedly being used for human trafficking and prostitution of children. So there's no point of even Googling Backpage.com right now because if you do, you will be greeted by a notice from the Federal Bureau of Investigation that will say Backpage.com and affiliated websites have been seized. So you're in this compromising situation. Most people would think that, hey, let me call the police. Let me maybe just fend for myself until I can actually make it home. But instead, you decide to work this situation to your favor and turn it to the pimp yourself and enhance the back page of your newfound friend. So that way, at least she can make some extra cash while you are prostituting these people and bringing them into the room and you are securing the situation. This is the story of Zola, and this story went completely viral in just 148 tweets. And when I say viral, I mean viral. You had celebrities like Nicki Minaj, Missy Elliott chiming in, even Ava DuVernay, who directed When They See Us, as well as Selma, jumping in on the conversation, saying... Drama, humor, action, suspense, character development. There's so much untapped talent in the hood. Now, of course, Zola eventually had to jump in and correct her quick, fast, in a hurry and say, I'm not from the hood, though, sis. I'm a suburban B-I-T-C-H, but I still love you, though. But even still, it goes to show the power of social media, who you can reach. Now, while she did admit to tweaking some of the details in the story, when she did clarify in an interview with Rolling Stone, she said she wanted to keep the underlying message of the story while enhancing it a bit for entertaining purposes to keep the audience captivated, but to show you how easy it is to get swept up in human trafficking. Zola is set for a U.S. release this summer by A24, which is an American independent entertainment company. And Sony has actually acquired international distribution rights for a future release. But it's all good friends because it just shows that passion is behind the product. So if you're making makeup tutorials or you're just putting him on blast for the garbage trash that it is that he puts you through, you too can make it to the big screen one day. Everything you didn't know, the things that you thought you wanted to know, but most importantly, what you should know. I'm Michelle McKnight and I've got you covered here on the Philip Scott Show every Thursday morning at 11 a.m. So tune in. Cheers.